Well, at the time that I am recording this, uh, the juries have have yet to uh, come down with a verdict. Um, so I will keep you posted. Uh, the judge has made it nearly impossible for there to be an acquittal. And, and what I'm about to show you is beyond shocking. The judge instructed the jurors that even if you don't agree, I'll, the judge, will still call it unanimous. Now you're thinking, what? No. <laughs> Wait until you see this. It's Wednesday, May 29th, 2024. I'm Stuart Allister. From the Daily Wire, Turley recalls otherworldly experience at Trump hush money trial. Um, just keep in mind, this is happening in the United States. This is not a third world country. This is happening in the United States. This person is actually a judge. This is not uh, reality TV. This this is not some sort of TV show. This is actually happening right now on the streets of New York. And this judge has made it abundantly clear and nearly impossible for Donald Trump to be acquitted. At the time, again, that I am recording this, they have yet to come down with a verdict. All right, before we get going, why don't you wreck that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and press that notification bell so you never miss an episode. This, this is just wild. The presiding judge's conduct on Tuesday during closing arguments at former President Donald Trump's hush money trial in New York City made for an otherworldly experience, according to George Washington University law professor Jonathan Turley. Understand, I need to reiterate this. Jonathan Turley is not a conservative. He voted for Bill Clinton. He is not a conservative. The only reason you see him on Fox News is because he calls balls and strikes, kind of like Glenn Greenwald. Turley told Fox News host Sean Hannity that Judge Juan Mashan allowed prosecutors to discuss former Trump lawyer Michael Cohen's plea deal in a way that implicates his old boss, despite orders not to let that influence the jurors who began deliberations on Wednesday. Quote, what I saw in that courtroom was really otherworldly. I really attempted to give the judge the benefit of the doubt on many occasions, but what I saw today was frankly outrageous. Quote, at one point, the prosecutor actually said that Michael Cohen committed federal election violations upon the orders of Donald Trump. Now, Mershon has a given instruction that the jury is not to suppose that uh, is not supposed to attribute Cohen's plea deal as an issue of guilt towards Trump. I'm. Hold on. Now Mershon has given an instruction that the jury is not to suppose to attribute Cohen's plea deal as an issue of guilt towards Trump. So the defense objected to Mershon, get this. So the defense objected and Mershon just overruled it and allowed the prosecutor to repeatedly state that the federal election violations by Trump are a fact. And there is not any dispute to that. And Mershon just sat there. So the prosecutors are saying there's there's no disputing the fact that uh, they, the, uh, uh, Michael Cohen, they, 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 they all committed uh, federal election violations. They, they, they're all guilty of it. There's, there's no dispute. The judge just sat there. 
No fact in evidence. Nothing. This judge is making it abundantly clear. There is no way Donald Trump will be acquitted. Hold on a second. Hold on to your butt cheeks. Jonathan Turley tweets out, Judge Masharn just said that if they find that any witness has testified with regard to any material fact, they can disregard the entirety of his or her testimony. It could be called uh, the Michael Cohen charge. It seems clear to some of us that Cohen clearly lied about the key call that he cited for tell telling Trump about the completion of the Daniels, the Daniels deal and his ridiculous claim that he secretly taped Trump for his own benefit. You do know that there's no way he taped Donald Trump. Do you know how I know for a fact he didn't? That tape would be everywhere. It would be not just on, on MSNBC, it would be on CNN, it would be on Fox, it would be on the New York Times, it would be everywhere. He didn't record Donald Trump saying jack squat doodly. But this, what I'm about to show you, the, the judge is making it almost impossible for the jury to not come back with a guilty verdict. Get this. Mershon just delivered the coup de grace instruction. He said that there is no need to agree on what occurred. They can disagree on the crime was among the three choices. Thus, this means that they could split four Four, four, and he will still treat them as unanimous. And boop, there it is. You can have a complete split. Four, four, four. The complete disagreement doesn't matter. You said they made he made it this crime, but you disagree with the others. You said he commit. So this is how it'll go down. If you got four jurors that say, I think he committed, you know, crime A, and then the next four says, no, I don't think he committed cr crime A, but he did commit crime C. And then if you have the final four who says, uh, you guys are all morons, he didn't create crime. He never, he never did crime A or B, but he did do crime C. The judge says he'll count that as unanimous. So you don't even have to have a unanimous vote to find Donald Trump guilty. For any of you out there who think that, wow, we're really turning into a banana republic, turning into, you had Joe Biden out there holding a rally right outside the courtroom. <laughs> We're becoming, we are. Like, like this, this is a joke. Only it isn't a joke. Now, someone left a comment in my uh, comment section and he was like really skeptical that Donald Trump would actually have to, you know, spend real time in jail, which let's hope he's right. But that really isn't the point of this exercise. The point is to keep them off the campaign trail. So let's say that he is found guilty, but we're not gonna give you any jail time. We're just gonna remand you. We're gonna put this you know, thing on your ankle and you can't leave New York. You got the old penthouse here? You'll, you'll be, you'll be there, but you can't leave essentially keeping him off the campaign trail. And it, it, it wouldn't surprise me if he would come out with some ridiculous order saying, mm, and you're not allowed to make any commercials about anything either. You, you, you can't, you can't call, 
You can't call anybody associated with your campaign. Well, wait a minute. My, my sons and my daughters, they're, they're, they're uh, it doesn't matter. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Why not? Now, some of you are probably already thinking, Stu, this is going to be overturned on appeal. Well, of course. I mean, this is like kindergarten. I mean, I, I by the way, never been a, an attorney. I'm not a, I'm not a lawyer. I've, 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 I've seen a, a, <laughs> a ton of trials, all right? And I'm telling you, point blank, this is going to be overturned on the basis of law. That's what you need for, for it to, to have a successful appeal. You have to have like a real violation of the law. Like something was wrong. Not, we're not talking about facts. Or if, you, if, if a fact was omitted, they have to, it has to be a material fact. Trust me. This, this, is, this, this is this is theater. It's just pure theater. There's a reason that this Juan Machan or whatever his name is was handpicked by Joe Biden because they knew that he would do this. I I have there's there I'm I'm I am ninety nine point nine 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 percent sure he will be found guilty. Because imagine if you're that one holdout, that one holdout. And I'll just leave you with this, okay? I'm, I'm trying not to go long here. When you got that summons to go to, you know, serve as a juror, um, guess what? That means that someone in that courthouse has your information. And how long do you think that person, it'll take for that person to be approached by some sort of, you know, Antifa? Or forget that, and someone from MSNBC to get that information and to put that person on blast. Are you kidding me? This is, uh, this is Democrats. This is what they do. They, they know they can't beat Donald Trump because of the dismal failures of this administration. So just, you know, keep them off the campaign trail. That's all this is about. This is, this is not about, you know, uh, putting him in jail. This is about keeping him off the campaign trail. So he has to stay. He is remanded to New York. Good God. Hold on a second. I, I, let, let me check the news just before I let you go to make sure. Um, let's see. Okay, so according to according to Fox News, um, the jury in New York versus Trump dismissed after deliberations end for the day. So they haven't came back with anything. So there you go. I I really believe there's no way there's an acquittal. Sorry, just there's no way. All right, that's it for now. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on that green channel, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.